Warning, the following video will contain content that is not appropriate for children. Viewer discretion is advised. Well guys, what is up? Welcome back for another one of my Pokemon Battle Revolution Rant Battles. Fuck yeah! Oh man, I gotta say, I'm feeling very tired today. Whew! Man, I just got done playing all that Guitar Hero shit. And, uh, my hands are just burnt out right now. I feel like I've been doing so much gaming lately, my hands have been actually bugging me a bit lately. So I feel like ever since I've gotten to, uh, my dad's house, you know, ever since I moved to my dad's house, I've gotten into, in my opinion, a much better, uh, schedule of recording videos for you guys. And it's actually worked out fairly well, I think. I really like, uh, doing, you know, this particular system of doing things. I really like it. I feel like it works very well. It allows me to get stuff done that I want to get done while still showing off some, you know, some of my regular content for you guys, you know, like my regular pick up and play kind of games, not, you know, the storyline based games that I play, but it still allows me to work on those storyline based games, whereas before I feel like I was kind of slacking on that a bit. But yeah, I really like how things are going with recording videos at my dad's house. It's been fucking awesome. So yeah, I'm just a little bit tired right now because, again, I'm still not used to waking up this early in the morning and then trying to act all energetic and record videos for you guys and all that good shit. That is, uh, that's something that does take a little bit of getting used to. But I feel like it's going good so far, in my opinion. That playthrough of Atlier Aisha is absolutely awesome. I really love that game. That is truly awesome, you know? Getting to wake up every Monday and Tuesday morning and playing that shit fucking awesome gotta say i'm definitely enjoying that game so far although not entirely confident in my abilities to actually beat that game but we'll see how it goes definitely see how it goes either way should be good anyway now for the reason why i'm here to you know rant about stuff the topic that i have for today and i hate to say this guys but um this is going to be a shameless advertisement another Shameless advertisement for Old Spice. Because men who don't use Old Spice are fucking pussies. And fucking pussies need to be crushed like the pussies that they are. So, if you see some motherfucking punk ass bitch going out there thinking that he's not gonna wear Old Spice and not be a real man, then you know what you need to do. You need to crush that pussy like a tin can and throw it in the fucking trash. Actually throw it in the fucking recycling because recycling is what's going to save the earth. And anyone who does not recycle is a punk ass bitch. Alright anyway, here's why you should use Old Spice because that shit is fucking delicious. And when I say fucking delicious, I do not mean that you need to go out and eat, you know, eat Old Spice because that is a no-no. That is a serious fucking no-no. You do not need to be going out and actually physically putting Old Spice into your fucking mouth. Because that is stupid shit. Now what you really need to do is you need to go out and buy yourself a bar of Old Spice. Some of that fucking deodorant shit and lather your ass up. In some cases literally because that shit does work on your ass. Because I have tested it myself. And I know it works. Trust me, it fucking works. On your ass. Fucking great. So what you need to do is go out and get yourself a bar of Old Spice. Lather your ass up with that shit. And become a real fucking man. Because only real men use Old Spice. And only real women use Old Spice. Because for men and women, we don't discriminate. Except for people who don't have a gender. We discriminate against them because we're fucking douchebags. Oh yeah. But only real men and women wear Old Spice. And actually, now that I think about it, it really doesn't matter what fucking gender you self-identify as. Because you know what? Any motherfucking human, or any organism for that matter, can buy a bar of Old Spice and lather themselves from fucking head to toe. And I'm talking about dick head to toe. Alright, now before I say anything else that is incredibly stupid and retarded. And childish. And stupid and dumb let me just leave you all with this little message 
Old Spice is the best selling shit in the world. Anyone else who says otherwise is a liar and a fuckface. Don't listen to them because they are bullshit. Wrapped in bullshit sauce. So my friends, what have you learned today? Old Spice makes you a real man. Even if you're a woman, it makes you a real man. And Old Spice is the tastiest and smell goodiest shit in the entire fucking world. So, here's what you need to do right now. Get off your ass. Stop watching this stupid ass video because trust me, it's fucking stupid. And go out and buy yourself a bar of Old Spice and lather yourself up with that shit. Because it is the best selling, best smelling shit and best selling shit for a good reason. Because it is Old Spice. And it has been around for a long ass time for a good reason because it's fucking good and it fucking works. So stop watching this dumbass video and go buy yourself some motherfucking Old Spice because Old Spice is the key to life. So, go get yourself some of that Old Spice. Oh yeah. Alright, well, um, yeah, that just happened. Alright, anyway, <laughs> if I'm done being sexist and racist, and just in general stupid for two seconds, well, uh, that was great. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> I think I enjoyed it a little too much, but that's because I'm a douchebag and a complete asshole. Anyway, <laughs> now that we have established that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> but you know what? Fuck it. Sometimes you just gotta have fun. And given how things have been going in my life lately, you know what? I deserve to have just a little bit of fun. I gotta say, though. Things might not be going good, but they could be going a hell of a lot worse. Drinking some water right now. I've been actually trying to eat a little bit healthier. Not necessarily eat healthier, but I've been trying to like cut back on portions because I eat a lot of food. I eat too much food. And I kind of expected it when I uh, moved to my dad's house that I would put on a little weight. And I actually have now to the point where it's very slightly noticeable. And it's bugging me a little bit. So I'm trying to cut back on my portions a little bit and not drink so much soda and all that shit. Obviously, I'm not going to cut that out entirely because I still want to enjoy the fact that I'm alive. You know, I don't hate myself. Actually, quite the opposite. I love myself, to be honest. Because I'm a narcissistic egomaniac. But much beyond that, I mean, I do legitimately love myself. So, I figure I might as well take care of myself a little bit better, you know. Eat a little bit less food here and there. Still eat the same foods that I normally would. It's just instead of, you know, eating an entire bag of potato chips, I just eat a bowl of potato chips, you know? Like a smaller bowl, not like a, you know, giant serving bowl worth, which I have done before, and it was fantastic. But, you know, I'm getting too old for this shit. My metabolism ain't what it used to be, so, yeah, doing that. I'm also going to think about working out a little bit, you know, getting some exercise, because... I don't exercise very much. Except for when I'm at work, I actually do get some decent amount of exercise. You know, carrying heavy bus tubs full of dishes and shit. So, I feel like I get decent exercise there. But, I'm still trying to cut back on the bad foods and drinks a little bit. Uh, not cutting them out entirely, again. Because I still enjoy those things. And I will continue to enjoy those things. For now. So, yeah. I'm definitely not cutting that shit out entirely. Because, again, I enjoy it, so I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it in moderation and throw a little exercise in there, and hopefully I can get rid of some of that fat. See, I never get fat in any other place in my body except for, like, you know, my stomach. I always get fat, like, right there, you know, like right where you'd have a beer belly except for the fact that I don't drink, so I don't have one of those. But, yeah, that's the only place I ever gain weight on my body. Every damn time. My stomach and my ass. I don't mean to brag, but I got a pretty nice ass. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> Alright, well guys, on that note, I'll see you all next time. Peace out.